What is going on everybody and welcome back to another Python and Robotics tutorial video. In the last video we got our robot car to turn left and turn right and in this video what we want to do is we want to program it to pivot left and right because in the turn it would have to gain forward ground whereas in a pivot it would just spin in place. So uh, let's go ahead and sudo nano robot2.py and here's our file. Let's go down to the very bottom. We don't need it to turn right anymore. And now let's go ahead and define a pivot underscore left time frame colon one, two, three, four in it. And now we're ready to go. So now to pivot left, what we would need is since forward is in the direction of, you know, going right on screen, to pivot left, the wheels closest to uh, the screen would need to move forward, whereas the wheels in the back would need to move backwards, and that would help it spin in the left direction. Or maybe the better word to be would be pivot or turn counterclockwise. Um, so to do that, to make that happen, what we want to do is we would want to use 7 as true, so gpio.output 7 true and then we're going to need 11 to be false so gpio.output 11 false and then 13 should be true 13 true and then 15 should be false now that ought to give us a pivot left let's check it Pivot left for one second. X yes save. And up to pseudopython robot2.py enter. And we forgot our cleanup as usual. Good stuff. How come nobody warned me about this? Now let's go down to the bottom. And first of all, we want to do time to sleep for time frame. And then gpio.cleanup, clean up, clean it, clean up. Yes. And now we're gonna run it once just to clear everything for myself. And put the battery back. And let's run it again. Okay, so that worked out. So that would make it pivot left. Now the last thing that we really want to do is pivot right. And that should do for all of our commands or at least you know not commands I suppose I guess commands yeah as far as you know what we want this robot to be able to do so now define pivot right time frame as usual we need reinitialize and now we want to begin so what's gonna change well basically I know this got us last time <laughs> so I hope it doesn't get me again but we should just have to flip everything I think we'll get away with flipping everything this time. So, gpio.output 7 false, gpio.output 11 true, gpio.output 13 false, gpio.output 15 true. Now, don't forget to sleep. Time.sleep for the time frame and gpio.output. Lean up. Now we want to pivot underscore right for the time frame of one. Save. Yep. Same file. Pseudo Python robot 2.py. Run it. And show enough. So the wheels closest to us spun backwards, whereas the ones furthest from us spun forwards, thus making us turn in a clockwise uh, rotation or pivot right. So that's it for that. Now what do we want to do? Well, now that we've done that, we want some way to be able to control our uh, car. So you don't want to have to like pre-program the car. Now there's a few ways that you can do this. Either you can allow the, the robot to accept controls from you, the user, or you can make the robot somewhat autonomous. Now the problem right now with our little car is we don't have any sort of real sensor to sense when anything is happening. So we can't really make it autonomous just yet. So first we want to make it controllable. 
And even if you made it autonomous, you want you would want to kind of eventually have some sort of control to it uh, as a sort of failsafe, if anything. So what we're going to be doing in the next video is actually working with some input that we can give um, to this robot to use our functions however we see fit. That way we don't have to pre-program anything. So that's what you have to look forward to. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support and subscriptions. And until the next video.